Hello freaks! Um so well blah, 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 blah. <laughs> welcome back um to the Doctor Who Watch Through Review series. Of course, I am your host. I don't know well, I'm apparently the host. Um <laughs> oh god, this is a nightmare. I am the host. I am the host. Um Yeah, so I'm your final viewer and today we are of course moving on with the Doctor Who Watch Through Review and talking about the absolutely insane The Web Planets. You, you and I am the Game Crasher! Yes. Uh, you the beep, 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 beep. And, uh, the Animus. The Animus. Right, okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a six parter. Um, obviously, this one is fairly. Uh, very famous for being just kind Nuts. of insane, exactly. Um, this, interestingly, was, I think, for a long time, uh, for quite a while at least, until about, uh, until partway through um, Tom Baker's run, the highest uh, viewed story. Um, really? Overall. It had some really high viewing figures, yeah. Um... Go and this check is just out people getting trashed and watching it. No, uh, go and go and check out uh, Adam Martin. I think his name is uh, YouTube. You probably know about it because yeah, it's it's quite big now. But if you haven't, go and check that out. It's very very good. It's uh, it's all to do with uh, the figure, like viewing figures and stuff. Very interesting. It, it's it's one of those things you wouldn't think was as interesting as it actually was, um, and it's quite fun seeing. You know, they go right from the beginning um and it's it's a continuing series we're we're about to go into series uh 17 i think of uh tom baker's run so anyway with that little shout out of the way uh i might put a little link in the description for for his uh for, for his channel at least um so yeah the uh the, the web planet what did we think of this one then it was nuts. Barbara was awesome. Um, but yeah, it kind of lost me there. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be one of the more uh, scathing reviews on this series. I like to be nice. You know, I, the thing is, I'm very, very open to stories. You know, I, I just have a good time with them generally. I'm not going to yeah. like, you know. Um, but if there is something, I'm going to say it. And to be honest... I know some people really do like this one, uh, but unfortunately, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not a winner for me. I like the ideas of it. I think it's a very, very ambitious story, and I think you know, I I give them props for that. And in fact, I give them props because I think you know, the cast seemed to have had a ton of fun. Um, yes. You know, lots of weird motions. Lots of being um, optras and I mean, optras. Yeah. <laughs> not and zombies. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and also, I mean, it, it, I I give it credit as well for for doing something a bit out there of making a completely alien world and no sort of human like characters. You know, these are all aliens. Uh, one of the species can't communicate at all, speak at all. Um, so you they know, just make weird beeps. Like, yeah, they, make, they sound like they're um like laser quest or something yes um so you know i i give it props to that and i do think that it, it's it's a great idea but unfortunately and this is where it fails it is just far too you know it's just it sort of crumbles under the weight of its own ambition i think is the problem they just couldn't make it work um and i think this is one of the very few times where i think you know the budget constraints and things actually uh really undoes it for me generally i don't mind if it looks a bit tatty i'm fine with it but this this one just i, I just i yeah no I, it doesn't work for me um it's overly long as well with the six parts it just it drags you know the first three parts are actually quite enjoyable uh, for what they're worth, you know, you're kind of laughing along and going, oh, this is a bit nuts and a bit insane, you know, especially the first episode is quite fun, actually, uh, you know, the, the yeah, Doctor's the crazy, along. yeah, the Doctor's crazy, you've got, well, that's in the second episode, I think. Oh, sorry, it? I thought but, it 
was it at the end of the first or no, no it's, it's the second, second one yeah. sorry uh well i mean i know it starts getting dragged along but you don't actually see it i don't think do you um but yeah so uh, the doctor is crazy and i love you know um the doctor and ian you know having always little, fun yeah um the doctor destroying ian's tie yeah how very, dare he's he? very cross about that um so yeah no i i do really enjoy that but after a while it does get very very tiresome it it, it drags especially because all oh, the beeping <laughs> the, the beeping does great on the nerves unfortunately you know i i can see what they were trying to do because it's like an ant like race they communicate through beeps unfortunately it's very loud and very annoying <laughs> and it just ends up you i know, definitely find that it's like oh, oh yeah it's, it's unfortunate it really is i i really i really want to like this one i really want to go oh yeah this is great you know um there's some great stuff in it there is so there is some fantastic stuff i mean the fact like that say, barbara is like just the most awesome i mean yeah she she's sort of like first of all she's like a zombie sort of thing because of her bracelet and then she's then when she um gets in with monoptera she sort of befriends them and then she starts leading a revolution yeah she basically awesome. yeah and she's taking none of anyone's you know bs as well she's not angry but she's just like you know she, no she's, she's just very firm yeah she's very firm and it's great um so yeah i mean i do like aspects of this and as we were saying as well vicky's very good yeah vicky's much better than uh susan i'll be honest i just vicky is the what susan the character because honestly you know it's a <laughs> it's a real shame yeah I yeah, I'm not like not Susan. talking about no, the no, actors. No, no, I know, but cause... I just thought, you know, we'll just say because I know we've we've discussed it before. The actors are great, but yeah, well, yeah, but I I am saying the characters' names, so you think I'd be talking yeah. about the character? You see. All right, I'm sorry. No, I it's just, okay. I it's just okay. wanted to sort of you uh, know, clear that yeah. up because yeah. you know, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. No. Really, because the thing was, Susan was supposed to be kind of alien. But then they went, oh no, we need someone to appeal to the kids. And if they were going to do that, this is what they should have done. Instead of the constant damsel in distress screaming. And like Vicky does, you know, but she's not as annoying. <laughs> Susan is just kind of annoying, um, the character. Um, so, you know. Vicky's kind of practical, isn't she? She is. She, you know, and I really do like the she relationship does make mistakes. between. Yeah, oh yeah, totally, exactly. Well, she's like, she, you know, she's not quite as. Um, she can't handle herself like Barbara can. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say Ian because he can't handle himself at all. He just bumbles through situations. He manages to survive. We, we're not quite sure how. Um, <laughs> but basically, but she's very good. And, and she, she does try and she's got that first revenge. Or, and, and the relationship between her and um, the Doctor is really sweet. I like, you know. I, I love that. I, I think um, actually that kind of. I prefer it to the relationship between the Doctor and Susan because he felt like he was too sort of overprotective. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this, he he's very sweet. He's very he's, encouraging. He is as well. Yeah, he is, and he's just like he's not constant. Like there's those um, moments, isn't there, where it's like with 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 Susan, where you just feel like he he's like you know more sort of like the. Uh, annoyed sort of you know grandparent or whatever and, and not really you you don't always feel that you know sweetness between them whereas you get this there are times but yeah this this definitely works a lot better um but yeah i just other than that though and i do i do like the ideas of this and i want to read the target book because i i hear that it is better um and then it kind of because it's a book obviously you know there's no budget constraints they can you know get their vision down um so i would like to read that um but yeah it, it just it's it's one of those i've watched it you know this is my second time watching it now and yeah it just it just never it just hasn't yeah it hasn't grabbed yet and like uh, this is definitely I watched, my. I watched the first half before, and then I hadn't watched the second half. Yeah. So. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. 
Um, yeah, no, this one just this one just doesn't endear me to it. Um, um, unfortunately, I just I just can't. I I I can't. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just can't. I can't um, with my, this. My, my defeated, you know, like, exasperation for this story. It's just like... It's a shame because we've been having such a good run. Yeah. And that's what, I mean, you know, I'm not, you know, thrown off by this one. Like, it's not no, made me want not. to put down the show. Like, I... Of course not. To be fair, like, when we were sort of watching them, I was slightly worried about getting to this one because I was just like, oh, God, I remember this one. I remember, like how many good ideas it had and just kind of being like, oh God, it, it drags and everything. And I feel like this is the first one that really does, well, actually, no, it's not the first one, uh, but it is the one that feels the most like a drag, especially the second half. Um, the, the, the Daleks had that problem as well. Um, but this is definitely my least favourite so far. Um, I don't hate it though. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. I don't loathe it. No, or, you know, I, I just... no, exactly. Um, you know, like, like we say, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah. And you know, the character work and stuff like that is. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Th this would definitely end up being on the on the low end. I think it'd mm. definitely be uh, at the bottom uh, somewhere. Um, I don't think there's any others. Well, I have now. I haven't seen the next two. Uh, obviously, we're going to skip over the Crusaders because it's missing. Uh, we do have the uh, missing stories box set thing. Uh, you know, the audios. The audios, yeah. Yeah, on Audible. Um, so we will listen to that at some point and probably, you know, maybe do a review or something. Um, but, like, obviously we're not, you know... I don't know if I'm going include, to include it in this series because, again... Because of the visuals, you know, you kind of lose that aspect. And I don't really want to take it from that, you know, because I know there are, you know, there are some aspects that just um, wouldn't work. as audio. I, I, I'm still very excited to listen to the audio. So, yeah. Yeah, it's cool to listen to the audio. But, yeah, I mean, obviously they're not meant to be, um, you know, listen to. just listen to. It's they're like Shakespeare. Be... You're not supposed to read it. Exactly. Um, you know. Exactly. You've got to go and watch it. You've got to go the and watch it at the theatre, yeah. And, yeah, exactly. So it's the same with um, Doctor Who, really. But, you know... What, watching it at the theatre? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Why not? Um, no, <laughs> no. I mean, um, just, you know, it's meant, it's meant to be watched as well. Yeah, it is. It's meant to be watched, exactly. Uh, but I am... I'm, I'm excited to move on. I am. I'm really excited to move on because we've got some good ones coming up. We have got some good ones coming up. Um, I don't know about the next two. I'm very excited for them, though. Uh, especially I'm the, excited. Especially the chase. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, so, coming up after this one, then, we've got a uh, sort of timey-wimey one. Ooh, is it wibbly-wobbly? Yeah, very wibbly-wobbly. Uh, as the Doctor and Co. are trapped in the Space Museum. Yeah. Ooh. Exactly. Um... <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, I hear the first part is very, very good of that one, but the rest is not so good. But I'm, I'm, I'm interested in it. It's a full parter, and I think you know I do like you know sometimes I like stories better than other people. So we'll we'll see. Yeah, it's like well, like with this one, you know, um, we might not think it's highly rated, but other people will. Mm. Exactly. It's just all a matter of personal taste. Exactly. Um, I'm always open-minded when I go into any of these things. If I hear lots of bad things, that doesn't necessarily mean that I, you know, I'm not going to go in thinking, oh, it's going to be crap. Well, I mean, put it this way, your favourite doctor even before, um, I mean, people seem to be sort of... Getting the, well, they are much more them. open yeah. to, like, no... I, I, well, feel I like... remember when the seventh doctor was on telly. And yeah, if you don't was... know, Sylvester is my favourite. Yeah, yeah, and and you should know if you've been watching this. Well, yeah, but they might have jumped onto this one. Like, oh, you know. fair enough. Um, anyway, <laughs> there'll be a lot of pictures of you wearing uh, Sylv's, uh, you know, mm. tank top. Yes, exactly. Yes. I am wearing Doctor Who themed. It's New Who themed, though. Yeah. Yeah. That was a Christmas, Christmas birthday present. Uh, Christmas I think it was birthday. Christmas. I think it was Christmas, but it could be a birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And oh, no, I think it was birthday because it arrived late, didn't it? Yeah. That's right. Yes. 
So anyway, yeah, that's that's the thing. Okay, so uh, very excited to move on. You know, I'm sure we're gonna have some fun with. You know, very close to to finishing Harmer, which I'm kind of sad about. I'm really enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. I must admit, something I've noticed as well is that I think what works for this era is that the TARDIS feels like a home. It doesn't always feel like a home. Like you've got the different rooms and they'll sit down and you know, um I think the fifth doctor tried that a little bit, but I don't think it ever quite worked. Uh but this it feels like a home and they're a little family, you know? Yeah. Um and they're just they're just on their little adventure, you know. It's it's a bit like Howl's Moving Castle, except, you know, it's a TARDIS, it's a time travelling machine. In yeah. space as well. Yeah. But I, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm going to be sad, obviously, to lose Barbara. But I'm going. I'm looking forward to other companions and yeah. other doctors as well. So yeah, we're nearly to the there's second doctor. There's always something good. Yeah. To you know, even if you're sad to lose someone, there's something good to. I'm very excited for the second doctor because there's quite a few that I have not actually seen from the second doctor. Mm. So I have watched quite a bit of the second doctor, but yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, we've got two more Hartnells I've never seen, and then, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad, it's like, oh god, you know, I'm really enjoying the Hartnell era, I'm, it's just so cosy and lovely and say, fun. I don't think either of us really thought we were going to enjoy it quite as much as we have. No, I, I knew I was going to enjoy it, because I love all of Doctor Who, yeah, exactly. but, but I didn't think it would be, you know, beforehand, I counted Hartnell as one of my least favourite. Um, you know, it, it of being, you know, I just wouldn't return to him very much. But I think I would now, definitely. You know, there's there's quite a few I'd uh, stories, like I said last episode, I'd go back to. So yeah, yeah, and obviously, I have found my queen. Mm. But yeah, very excited to move on, and just I just I can't wait. Bit more, bit more Doctor Who to come. <laughs> Lots of more Doctor Who to come. Lots. Loads. <laughs> Loads more, yeah. yeah. I'm very excited. It's making me a big fan, oh, I have to say. Oh, I know I know a lot of you won't, you know, but we finally got the release date for Series 24. Like this, <gasps> Yes! I, I, I know, you know, you're probably watching this later on, but, like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I was, yes. I was, like, so sad because, obviously, Series 8 came out and it was, like, because, obviously, Series 24 got um, announced shortly after Series... Eight was uh, announced, it, it, sort of shortly uh, before it came out as well. And for the longest time, we didn't have a release date. We pre-ordered it on yeah, that did. day, didn't we? We did, yeah. Mm. And for the longest time, we didn't have a release date. And we have finally been given a release date. It's next month, June 21st. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. <laughs> We're going to be able to experience the gloriousness that is Paradise Towers. In, in Blu-ray form. And I'm so excited. Yes, I love that. Paradise Towers. I love Paradise Towers. It's one of my favourite stories. I'm so excited. <laughs> and, it's and brilliant. Series 24 is a fun one. It's it's ridiculous. It's camp. But it's it's going to be wonderful to experience it like that. Because uh, I've got Series 26 as well in the, uh, you know, which is, is my favourite series of Doctor Who of all time. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay then, uh, The Guff. So, yeah, link in the description for Twitter and podcast. Um, and also uh, the the channel I spoke about earlier, the thing. There'll be a link for that. And Martin, that's it. Um, and subscribe and like if you enjoyed as well. Or like and subscribe. And hit the bell, as they say. The bell. Hit the bell. The bell. Um, to keep up to date. So yeah. Boom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, we will see you. Is this going to connect? No. Probably not. No, it's. Oh no! Yes, yes, it is. Right. We'll see you another time. Bye bye. bye.